of certain species produce a relative of DMT in large glands in their necks. Why this is is not clear. Uh, considering that this uh, exudate or this um, material will kill a dog if a dog picks up a toad like that in his mouth within minutes. It's pretty spectacular. It's reasonable to suppose that then this is just a defense that has been evolved. Some of you may have seen the dinosaur in Jurassic Park that spits poison in your face. We're talking something like that. Uh, the toad creates this, DM, or this 5 methoxy DMT in this gland, and when the glands are squeezed, uh, it comes out on the surface of the toad's skin. It's a near relative of DMT. My, speaking from my personal battery of many prejudices, I would say I don't care for it. It complicates my job enormously because people do this stuff and they think A, that it is DMT, or B, if they're slightly better informed, that it's just like DMT. It is, in fact, chemically called 5-methoxy-DMT. However, it is nothing like DMT. It's as much like DMT as radio is like uh, television. And that's where the difference lies. The 5-MeO does not trigger the most spectacular effect associated with DMT, which is these three-dimensional crawling hallucinations that come out of the woodwork and reveal the true nature of reality to you. When you take 5-MeO, DMT, you have all of the physical presentation of DMT. There's a sense of... Uh, a, a kind of light anesthesia through the limbs. There's a sense of falling forward into a void. There's a sense of losing body boundary. Now, at that point in DMT, those symptoms would give way to the trip. At that point in 5-MeO-DMT, those symptoms give way to the beginning of the come down. And if you, if people who have never taken DMT sometimes rave about 5-MeO and say, you know, this was the most astonishing thing I've ever happened to me. People who are familiar with DMT can yawn their way all the way through it because you're braced for the DMT thing. I mean, you think, oh my God, it feels just like it. Here it comes. It's going to be upon me. Five, four, three, two, one plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five. It's not coming in. It doesn't come in. And so, uh, and then 5-MeO uh, is fatal in sheep as well as dogs, spectacularly fatal in sheep. And so I guess if you're a sheep, it's counterindicated. Uh, doesn't seem to be harmful in human beings, with, but with so little data available, I think maybe we should, uh, you know, there are old psychedelicists and bold psychedelicists, but there are no old, bold psychedelicists. And there might be a few, of course getting them to speak ordinary English is a real choice. Don't point at me. I'm a child, a mere stripling. 